Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Anna Morfides here with Many Hearts Counseling and today's session I wanted to circle around this topic of why do I keep manifesting the same masculine over and over? Why do I keep manifesting the same relationship over and over. And I just wanted to say I am A, so grateful to be able to answer this question. And also I am so grateful about everyone that chooses to work with me. I know that the sessions that I had earlier today with beautiful feminines just fill my heart and my soul. And I am so grateful that you trust in me to help you find yourself and therefore everything else that you want to attract into your life that will reflect you finding your true self. So when people ask this question, why am I attracting the same relationship over and over? That is a compass for sure that they have not found their true self yet. So I'm going to see if I can explain this in a way that is able to be understood by people that are spiritual, non-spiritual, versed in the psychological world, not versed, because it should be accessible information for everybody. So Gabriel Mate always says that trauma is not what happened to you. Trauma is what happened to you inside as a result of the Things that happened to you or the good things that didn't happen to you as a child. So even if there was no emotional, physical or mental abuse given to you as a child, you could have inquired trauma by the things that were not given to you, the good things that were not given to you, such as love, support, encouragement, um, things like that. So a child can be traumatized by the good things that they were not given, but also by the horrible things that they were given. So unfortunately, there are many different ways that as children we can be traumatized. And then that trauma will be the result or sorry, your unmet emotional needs as a child. I had to write this down to make sure that I don't um, screw it up. The good things that didn't happen to you or the bad things that happened to you, the lack of met emotional needs will create trauma. And that will be what happened inside of you as a result of that. And it will show up as psychological trauma. So inside of you, what happens as a result of the things that you didn't, the good things that you didn't get or the bad things that you got will result in psychological trauma. And I know I've been referring a lot to this book lady lately by Robin Norwood. It's called Why Me, Why This, Why Now. She talks about the wounds as well. So when you are attracting the same person over and over, you are operating from your wound. You're operating from your emotional needs not being met as a child and them still not being fulfilled. And the trauma that was generated from that experience, trauma equals psychological, um, he called it damage, but what's a different word that we can reframe, reframe it to psychological uh, state of being, right? So you now operate from a particular psychological state of being. For example, my psychological state of being from the trauma that I endured as a child was I am unlovable because if I was lovable, why would people abuse me? So in my mind, I was abused in all ways possible because I was unlovable. I wasn't worth it. I was not worth any more than that. So I subconsciously operate from that level. And because we are who we, no, sorry, we date who we are. We don't date who we want. We date who we are, right? Because that is how this resonant world works. We attract that, watch, that, 
that which we are, not what we want. So if you want someone who is confident and will treat you with respect and kindness, if you are not confident within yourself or you don't treat yourself with kindness and respect, they that person will not come to you. It's not vibrationally possible. You're going to keep attracting the person that shows you disrespect, that shows you you're not good enough because that is where you are, right? The end result of a relationship is not how you feel about that person, is how that person makes you feel. And that person makes you feel how you feel. People always reflect back to us how we feel about ourselves. I'm going to repeat that again. Matthew Hussey always says, the end result of a relationship is always how that person makes you feel. And then I say, the way that he makes you feel is actually how you feel about yourself inside. Therefore, supporting that statement that every counselor and psychologist out there will say is, we date who we are, not what we want. So someone else makes you feel the way that you feel about yourself inside. So if you're attracting the same person over and over again, that makes you feel uh, not secure, not safe, um, uh, whatever it is, like obsessive or unsettled, insecure, all these things. That's how you truly feel about yourself inside. And these are the wounds that were created within you from your traumas. And you carry them still today. And everybody, everybody has wounds. No one escapes. No one escapes because we all have a soul and every single one of our souls embarks on a different journey. And Robin Norwood also says, it will be really good if on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your wounds impact on your overall life? So for example, if you're one of these uh, people that keeps attracting the same person over and over again, reflecting back to you, disrespect, um, unworthiness, not good treatment, um, silent treatment, all these things, then you know that your wound is probably running your overall life by uh, a higher percentage that you would like it to. But it's just as simple as acknowledging that and then you can change it. Right? Because if we subconsciously change the way that we believe, the way that we believe about ourselves, then we can consciously change the experiences that we have in our life. Because every counselor and psychologist will say, people and situations will always be brought into our lives by our vibration, which your vibration is your soul because your soul is the energetic part of you. So your soul it will essentially call in for the same situation, the same outcome in a relationship, just maybe a different phase, right? So the man will still come in and bring the same lesson and a situation will still come in to bring in the same lesson until you heal it. Um, she actually phrases it in a very, very beautiful way. I did highlight it because I wanted to share it with everyone and it says the soul doesn't give us a choice it knows what we need to experience and designs the physical astral emotional and mental bodies that together will make up the next experience for us that we need so these bodies cause us to attract those needed experiences without our conscious consent okay the emotional and physical and astral bodies that we are made out of, right? They cause us to attract those needed experiences without our conscious consent, which supports the theory that we date who we are, not what we want, right? You will attract those needed experiences that your soul is calling for. So that's all that it is. So don't get down on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Don't go down the path of why am I still dating these people that are not respecting me? 
because honestly, your soul is calling them in for you to see what you need to heal about yourself. This is how you feel about yourself. So once you change the way that you feel about yourself, then you can date what you are and not what you just want. You can date what you want and what you are. And the way that you can change unserving beliefs such as myself, like I am unlovable. This is exactly the level that I, I operated from. So why would I not reflect? Why would I not attract masculine energy that would reflect that back to me constantly that's what i needed to heal about myself is that i am lovable so once you heal that then know and have faith that that's the only thing that you're going to attract so if you want someone to love you unconditionally you have to love unconditionally yourself first but if you think that you do but you're attracting the opposite experience then you know you just have a little bit of more work to do subconsciously and that's okay because this book also supports that too that we are going to attract the same person or situation over and over again until we heal that lesson and she's not the only therapist that talks about that this is proven to be true uh so we give healing to that i just thought i love 11 we give healing to that we give healing to that particular unserving belief that is subconsciously running our mind and then we can change our outer world. So I want to wish everyone happy manifesting, happy reforming the way that you feel about yourself. I wish that everyone can date who they are and not what they want. I wish that everyone can become what they want to date, secure, loving, unconditionally, uh, full of grace, full of compassion, understanding, communication, no fear, no judgment. I wish this for everyone for themselves in order for them to find it somewhere else. Remember that everything is happening for you. And even if that question is popping in, why am I attracting the same person over and over again? Why am I always continuously being disrespected in my relationship? It's because this is your soul's journey and it's just showing you that you have a little bit of more work to do. If you need help on how to heal this, you can either go to YouTube and you can just pretty much put anything in the search engine, how to Google emotional trauma, how to Google um, negative core beliefs. You can Google anything on YouTube and someone will be there to give you the advice. Trust that spirit will bring in the right person for you to click on and that little uh, search uh, or whatever pops underneath the search en engine uh, YouTube suggestions, I believe they're called. Those little, and then you'll see all these little squares. That's what I did and I was able to heal myself. And now with everything that I've learned, I hope that I can give the same back to this wonderful community that exists on YouTube. And if you like the video, please do like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I always welcome any questions, comments, concerns. I'm always here for you. My purpose is here to serve. And... Yes, remember that everything is always happening for you and I will see you next time.